So you have one of the iPhone 12s, doesn't matter if you have the iPhone 12 mini or the Pro or the Pro Max or just the iPhone 12, but basically you're charging it and it's been charging for an hour, five hours, maybe it's tra been charging all night and it still doesn't turn on and the battery is still low here. I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. First thing I wanna mention is all of these iPhone 12s are actually fixed, but we're gonna pretend that we're stuck on this right here. Now the thing is, when you have the power plug plugged in, once it reaches about 3%, it should all the iPhone 12 should automatically turn on, okay? So if you had this in here for 10 minutes, it should turn on, okay? If not, then you have an issue, okay? And you can see when I pull it out, you get this cable in here, okay? Saying that it's not charging. Now I pop it in here, and then I press on the power button. Oop. Just wait, wait, there we go. So basically it's the same as charging, but for you guys, it's not, the phone's just not turning on when the cable's in. So let's go ahead and start off with num uh, option number one. So first thing is this, while it is plugged in and it's charging, what I want you to do is force restart your iPhone 12. What you want to do is uh, press the volume up, volume down, and press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see an Apple logo. Okay, so do it together, ready? Volume up, volume down, Power, press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see an Apple logo appear. So just keep holding on here. If after like 20 seconds, you still don't get an um, Apple logo, then we're gonna go to the next option, okay? So no Apple logo here, okay? We'll go to the next possible option. Okay, so the first way didn't work and I had it plugged in and I had this plugged into a wall socket, okay? Now what I want you to do is Go ahead and plug, you know, I had it into a wall socket. What I want you to do is plug this somewhere else because it could, it could, it, it's possible that it could actually be the wall socket. So go somewhere else around your house, plug it into another wall socket or a wall outlet, and then wait 10 minutes when it's plugged in. Wait 10 minutes to see if your iPhone 12 turns on. If it doesn't, then from there you're going to do the same thing, okay? You're going to force it to restart. Remember, press volume up, volume down, and press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see Apple logo. But if after 20 seconds, you still see no Apple logo or nothing, then go ahead and let go, and we're gonna to go to the next possible step. Now, the next possible step, now it could be possible it's your actual wall adapter, okay? Now with the iPhone 12s, it comes with this cable here. It's a USB-C to a, a Lightning. So maybe, you know, wherever you had it plugged in, the wall adapter, maybe this is bad. So go ahead and change that, or you can use a regular, um, if you have this laying around, the uh, standard USB-A to a lightning port, you can go ahead and do the same thing. Whatever uh, wall adapter you're using, go ahead and change it. Go ahead and use a different one and then plug it into the wall and then leave it charging for 10 minutes. If after 10 minutes your phone still didn't turn on, then do the same thing again. Okay, volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button and wait till you see an Apple logo. If you don't see an Apple logo after 20 seconds, then there's still something wrong, okay? Okay, so if it's still down, next thing I want you to do this, if you have a USB-A laying around, uh, one of these charging cables, or even if you're using a um, the charging cable that comes with the iPhone 12, even if you have one of these, and then you have a uh, computer, what I want you to do is plug the charging cable into the computer. If you have a USB-C, then you would need like a Thunderbolt 3 on your computer. Okay, I don't have a Thunderbolt 3 but I have, uh, all computers have a USB-A. So now what I want you to do is just go ahead and leave it plugged in like this to your phone and then plug it into your computer, your laptop USB port, plug that in there. And then what I want you to do is wait 10 minutes. Let it charge for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, your phone should be turned on, okay? If it's not, then from there, we're gonna do the same thing. Remember, volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see an Apple logo. If you're still holding the power button for 20 seconds or more and there's no Apple logo, then obviously it didn't work. We'll go to the next step. Now for the next step here, now it's possible that can also be the actual cable. Okay, so what you wanna do is go ahead and grab a different uh, iPhone cable, borrow it from a friend or another family member or whatnot, and then do the same thing, okay? Go ahead and plug it in. Try to go ahead and plug it into one of the, your wall adapters plug into a socket, plug it into the uh, your iPhone 12, wait, t wait 10 minutes. If it doesn't turn on, then remember, force restart it. Press volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button while it's charging and wait till you see the Apple logo. 
if you don't see the Apple logo um, and it takes over 20 seconds, then just go ahead and let go. And then obviously um, there's another issue that's wrong with the, uh, with the iPhone not turning on. And while you're using new cable, the new adapter just didn't work, then go ahead and pull that out, try a different adapter. Okay, plug that in there. Do the same thing. Doesn't turn on 10 minutes. Go ahead and force restart it. Didn't work. Then go ahead and pull it out. And then with the new cable, try a different outlet somewhere else in your house. That didn't work with the new cable. Then again, remember, just go ahead and take the wall adapter off. Plug in your phone again and then plug it into your computer or laptop. Wait 10 minutes. If it doesn't turn on within 10 minutes, then force restart it again. Now, if you tried several different outlets, several different... Um, wall adapters here, several different cables and you're still down, then it's a possibility that it's a good chance that it's your actual port. It could be dirty. You might have lint in there, dirt, dust, sweat got in there, coffee got in there. So what you can do to clean it out is you can just get yourself like a, a wooden toothpick and what you can do is kind of like go slowly and just pick in here and a lot of times you'll actually get like a lint ball that will pop out as well. But you can do this, just keep cleaning that out. And also you can get like a toothbrush and kind of go in there kind of wiggle it in there get the uh, the bristle in there kind of clean it out go ahead and get the uh, wooden toothpick or even a plastic toothpick will work go ahead and try to see if you can get anything out and then from here do the same thing again okay so now go ahead and try one of your charging cables use a wall adapter plug it in See if it turns on within 10 minutes. If not, you got to do the force restart. If that didn't work, go ahead and try a different outlet. If that didn't work, try a different cable. You know, also try the cable. Also put it, plug it into a laptop or a computer. Wait 10 minutes, see if it turns on. If it doesn't, force restart it. I almost forgot to mention, but um, what you can also do too, because these are all capable of wireless charging, all these iPhone 12s. So if you have one of these wireless chargers, or I'll put a link below where you can get this one. This is my favorite one. This is a Samsung one, but you can always pop that on here. Where's another wireless charger here? We can pop that on here and wait. You can see that this one is charging here and I'll wait for this one to charge. So basically same thing. There you go. Same premise here. You can go ahead. Um, it should turn on automatically uh, less than 10 minutes. Okay. So these two phones here, for example, I'll just leave it on here and it'll turn on automatically. So let me let me wait like uh, up to 10 minutes. So I'm still waiting patiently for it to wirelessly charge. And the same, the same premise here when you have a cable, if I go ahead and pull it off, you'll get this with the cable with the lightning there. If I put it back onto the wireless charger, give it one second and we'll get just the battery icon that's gonna pop up here. There you go, so you know it's charging. So let me just go ahead and wait up to 10 minutes. So this one's automatically turning on after like seven minutes. So I'm still waiting for this one to turn on. You can see it's on. And this one is turning on now. This one took eight minutes, okay? Started. Anyway, if you guys followed all these steps with different cables, different wall adapters, different outlets, cleaning out your port, if you guys follow all these steps, at least 80% of you guys should be up and running now. Okay, your phone should have turned on. So if this worked for you, give me a thumbs up and let, let us know which step you think worked for you. If it didn't work for you, give it a, this video a thumbs down. But again, we should have at least 80% thumbs up. All right, good luck, guys.